Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode in the Spring series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can use dependency injection with Java configuration. Okay, so the last episode we saw how to do Java configuration in our applications because the whole time we've been doing annotation configuration. So what I want to show you now is how to do dependency injection with these beans that you're providing in your configuration files. So currently in our shape service implementation files, our classes here, um, we are setting the, uh, we are hard coding the size of the shape into the code itself, as you can see here. So this is perfectly fine just for this simple application. But let's say that for some reason we want to have a, another service that provides the size that we want to use for our shape services. So let's say that we have a size service. So we're going to create a new Java class size service. And this will um, just be a very, very simple class that gives you a size for a shape. So we're going to have a public integer get size. And the parameter of this will be the actual shape. So we're going to do a switch statement. So shape, so case rectangle, return 5, case circle, return 25, and then default. The default size for the shapes will be five. There we go. We'll actually do 10. And that's all we need for this class here. It's a very simple size service that we can use to get sizes for our shapes. So we can go ahead and close this. Now, if we want to use this size service within our other services, let's say that our rectangle shape service implementation is a client that requires that as a dependency. So we can do private final shape or size service, size service. And then we can wire that in using constructor injection. So we'll make a constructor, so code, generate, constructor, and then we'll pro provide side service as the uh, parameter for that constructor. So we're going to annotate that with auto wire because we're auto wiring it in to for dependency injection. So what's the problem here? It says, could not auto wire no beans of side service type find, found, which makes sense because we did not annotate side service as a uh, service here. So we're not using Java config, uh, and we're not using annotation configuration. We're about to use uh, Java configuration. So uh, yeah, there we go. So now we have this service here set up to use uh, size service as a dependency. So if we look down here in our rectangle shape service implementation bean, um, when we're creating the new object, it's saying that, of course, it's asking for this parameter here and we're not providing it. And we're going to deal with that in a second. But currently, we need to turn our size service into a bean. So, of course, we could annotate it using the service annotation or we can do it in a configuration file. And it's up to you how you want to do it. You can either create a new configuration file just for the size service. But since it's only one service, there's nothing, there's no other classes of that type. We're just going to throw it into our shape service config file. So we're going to create a new bean method here to provide that bean. So public size service, size service, return new size service. So our size service class is now a bean provided by Spring for us to use in our application. So in this case, we want to use it to create our rectangle shape service implementation. So the way we do that with Java configuration is you just pass it in as a parameter to the method and then take that parameter and put it right into the rectangle shape service implementation. So we'll do size service, size service, and then we're going to provide size service as the parameter to the constructor of rectangle shape service implementation. So if you look closely here, what is happening is Spring will call the rectangle shape service method here because it's annotated as being within a configuration file. So Spring will call this to obtain a rectangle shape service implementation object for its bean. And uh, the parameter it's asking for that Spring will need to provide is a size service. So Spring will provide the size service. And so since size service is a bean of itself that Spring already has, it will take that bean and then put it right into the rectangle shape service. Um, it'll put it right into the method. It'll inject it into the method. And then we're taking that parameter and injecting it into the constructor itself. So in this case, Spring is not, you know, injecting it into the constructor because we're doing the um, object instantiation ourselves. So Spring is only injecting it into the method parameter, and then we're taking that parameter and injecting it into the constructor. So basically, we're working together in this case. And these two things here are isolated. The for this to work to, you know, have Spring provide size service as a parameter, you don't need to declare it as a bean in a Java configuration file. You could, like I said. Just go ahead and make size service a service by annotating it as a service. 
So this will still work no matter what. Those, th those two things are not connected. As long as Psi service is a bean provided by Spring, it will inject it into the method here when it's calling the method to obtain a rectangle shape service implementation. So, uh, but yeah, anyways, we don't want to do that though. This is about Java configuration. So we're just going to keep it um, using Java configuration. So let's see if we run this, um, if it works or not. So look here, the, sh the shape size did not change. And let's try and figure out why that is. So if we go to our rectangle shape service, we can see that we're still hard coding these, these size values. We're not actually using our size service. And IntelliJ is trying to tell us that too. So we can go here and do size service dot get size rectangle. And then do it again here. So right, size service dot get size rectangle because this is a rectangle. Now they're no longer hard coded and they're grabbed dynamically from the size service provided uh, by Spring. So now we should get yeah a much smaller square because the size service tells us that a, a rectangle is only going to be five by five. So that's really small. So if we want to, we can increase this to something like five hundred, and we should get it like a really big square. There we go. It's like taking up the whole game application window. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for a circle. So our circle is going to ask for the same dependency. So private final size service, size service. And we're going to inject that using a constructor. Boom. And then uh, I didn't mean to click off that. There we go. We want to annotate this with auto wired. Perfect. Okay. So now we want to take this size service and ask for it as the method parameter and then pass it in, inject it ourselves into this, the new circle shape service implementation constructor. So now every circle should be uh, created with that size. Actually, we need to use it here. So size service dot get size circle. Now a circle should be, I think 25. Yeah, 25, there we go. So let's see if it's smaller now. Oh, that's not it. It's because uh, of course we haven't changed our profile, right? So in our shape service config, we are using the dev profile for a circle to be used. So we need to either change the profile setting here or actually go into the config here and change the profile itself. So we'll change it to dev now to use a circle. There we go, so circle. So that's how you can do dependency injection using Java configuration. All you gotta do is provide the thing, the dependency as a parameter to your Java configuration method here for the bean configuration method. And then Spring, if it notices that the thing that you're asking for is a bean, it will take that bean, inject it into the method, and then you can use that method parameter uh, to create the object if that's what you need to do. Or you can do whatever you want with that, uh, that dependency. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In the description below, I'll leave a link to the code for this episode so you can check it out. You can bookmark it, come back to it later. If you forget any concepts or you just want to review the concepts I taught in this video, I'll mark everything up with comments so you can come back and read the code without having to rewatch the video, although your reviews are greatly appreciated. So yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And another thing is I'll leave a link to our Discord server. It's a big community for programmers. You can ask for help on your programming projects if you're stuck on something, or maybe you can get some new friends. If you don't have any friends, there's lots of people here. It's growing really fast. You can get, uh, you can find lots of people who are passionate about the same things as you. For example, if you like Minecraft uh, Spigot development, uh, you can find people, lots of people who like that. If you like C++, if you like Java, if you like web development, it's a really, really big programming community. So uh, feel free to join. There's a link for that in the description below. And the last thing I want to tell you is that if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month and you can cancel at any time. You get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, a cool rank on my Discord server like you see right here on the side, YouTube members. And also you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to join. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Um, I really just uh, appreciate you watching the video anyway. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.